to chair. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, Miss Johnson. You, your name is Jesse. Jacob. Jesse Jacobs. Is that your birth name? Okay. My first name is Jesse. When I was married, my husband's last name is Jacob. When I got married in 1983, 37 years ago, I had my maiden name. That's my dad's house name. It's a long name. Can you spell it, please? K I K like kite. I Z H A K E K A R A. Representative, uh, what is your question, please? I'm asking the question. Well, please ask. She it. gave a lot of information. I, I just want to know who and, she is. Uh, representative, please, it's it's reasonable to ask the name of the person. Yes. I'm with you there. But now that you know it. What's your first, what was your first name? What? Jesse. Jesse. J -E Thank you. J-E-S-S-Y, not E. J-E-S-S-Y. Y. Thank you very much. Okay, now please move on to your question, Representative. That's it. You asked okay. that one. Thank you. Uh, representative. And my middle name is Sunny. My middle name is Sunny. S-U-N-N-Y. And I, I think it's important, Representative uh, C.A. Johnson. I mean, if that was, you know, I mean, we're not here to intimidate people. Well, um, food never came out of these vans. Excuse yes, you. what's your point of order, point Representative? Of order. We have these people coming in here testifying, making claims. They should be under, uh, they should, they should, we should have them under, what do you call it? Oh. Under oath. Representative, oh. we don't under do oath? that. Here's Representative, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're not going to do I'm that. Under You're out of I order. Have an affidavit. I'm under You're out of order, Representative. We're not. We Mr. don't Chairman, do that here in Michigan. We've never it. done that. I wrote an affidavit. Mr. Chairman, she has, she has an the affidavit. The Biden never has done. She has an affidavit under oath. Representative. Under no. Nice. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, please indulge me. As a woman from the city of Detroit, a woman who has lived, I'm talking about me now, who has lived in the city of Detroit all of my 62 years, and having spoken with many, and by the way, thank you, uh, having spoken with many people who worked the TCF or TFC. TCF. All right, let's uh, let Representative Johnson continue. Um, and, and please get to your question, Representative. I will, I will. So my question really to you, uh, Mr. Chair, I'm going to repeat it again. These people, our guests are sharing information, just sharing and sharing and speaking and speaking. No one is under oath. There are, the world is watching us right now and the world is watching right now, and there are one person after another who's testifying or who's making allegations, because that's exactly what they are, allegations of, of wrongdoing in the city of Detroit. I wonder, and I'm going to ask you the question, did you see any cameras at the TCF Center? All right, so. And Representative, I just want to remind you, I, I think it was the purpose of today's hearing to hear from people across Michigan who witnessed things at the TCF Center. That's why we're it, here. Well, you know, so, here, so, here, and well, I'm not going to argue with you about that's why that. We're here, so okay, so they're here, but they're taking so much time, and I see no Detroiters. There is one Detroiter. It, stop that. Please continue, Representative. And, and there is one Detroiter, but I have many emails. Since there's no one who you have in this room 
to represent Detroiters, except a couple of us in this room. I have emails from Detroiters. We've taken what two hours? What's your? Did you have a question? I, I'm willing. Uh, please stop yelling, we people in the to, audience. Let me handle this, um, Representative. Listen, we've had hearings in the past, as you know. We'll have more hearings. Today, we've invited Mr. Giuliani, and Mr. Giuliani has brought forward witnesses uh, that that he. Uh, as uh, says, have firsthand knowledge of fraud. That's what we are doing today. And if we want to find out if... Please let me finish. Yes. All right. So if you want to do other hearings, we're doing more hearings. But today we're here to hear from these people. So do you have a question for these witnesses? No, I have some concerns, many concerns. And I want to just share with you what the concerns are. Do you have a point of order? I'm sorry? Do you have a point of order? Yes. What is your point of order? Point of order is to have them under oath. You're out of order. As I've said, this is something that is not done here in this state. Um, it's really only. Uh, it may know, not be not done under court. the state, this but you're allowing people to come in here and lie. And I know they're lying. Representative, uh, you're out of order. I've given I've indulged you, but you're out of order and we're going to move on. And on behalf of my witnesses, I would like to point out that every single witness we've presented here has sworn an affidavit as to all of these facts. And so, so Representative, please, uh, I gave you some room there, but we're going to move on. Uh, we're going to go. May, may I say something, please? Sure. If that is what you want me to do, I would do it. And I will still repeat the exact same thing I watched. And you know what? I also want to say one thing. If it is a lie, it may change because a liar has to have a lot of memory power. If it is truth, you can ask me in the middle of the night. It'll still be a quick question. question. Sure. Very quick. Mr. Giuliani. Hi again. Hello. Do you think that both you and the president are honest men? Do I really have to answer that question? Um, yes. Representative C.A. Johnson. We're, representative, <laughs> it's, are, are, representative are you do you have a point of order? Uh, you, I'm you? asking the question. Representative, I'm asking gonna, the question. We, you, we are, need a question do you consider yourself, Mr. Representative, Mr. Giuliani, you representative, representative you're out of order. Out of order. Men. Representative, you're out of order. Representative, if you want to ask a question about the that election, the you can ask the question. But that is not about the election. So um, do you have a question about the election, Representative? I can't because this is a, a, a show. No, I, I, I just can't. I, and, and do Representative, you, do, you do you have a – hold on, Representative. Do you really believe Representative, do you have a question about the election? Yes. Yes. All right, then I'll turn your mic on. Ask the question Mr. about the election. Mr. Giuliani. Oh, did you turn it off? If you Mr. have Giuliani. a question about the election, ask I it. Could I could hear you. Mr. Giuliani, do you believe that the citizens of Detroit, those who have voted, feel like what you're doing today is disenfranchising or attempting to disenfranchise the citizens of Detroit? The of Just the opposite. I would say that I would say that trying Let's to separate the honest from the dishonest vote is saving the franchise because every dishonest vote deprives an honest po person of their vote. I agree. I absolutely agree. Let's let and him, uh, so, Representative, let's let him answer the question. Yeah, he just did. Okay, then. Yeah, I he, think, he just did. Oh, and then, so I agree with you. Dishonesty is dishonesty, right? Right. Thank you, Representative. Um, all right. Uh, Thank <laughs> you.